Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm doing a string of videos because we have a crew that is working up here at the storage facility that has been on the channel before. I'm going to quickly go over my steel FS94R. This unit is really awesome. It has a steel blade on the end and this thing is just great. Uh, it's not built for whacking through one inch trees, but you can sit there and chisel on them and burn through them with this steel blade. The biggest issue I have found with this steel blade, this property has been extremely neglected. There are two by fours, bricks of concrete just laying everywhere. And if you hit this blade up against an immovable object, it will knock it off center. So you kind of have to pay attention to these little lugs right here and make sure they are in the center. If it does get knocked off center, it has not ever been a big deal. You just kind of study which way it needs to go. And then this sounds a little redneck, but you just bop it the way that it goes like up against a steel post or the side of your building, something like that. And then it will just pop right back in to the arbor. This blade physically moves off of the arbor. It's a little frustrating. But other than that, this thing is bulletproof. I have the unit fueled up with two stroke fuel. We're gonna go ahead and prime it. Do that about 10 times. And then this unit has a choke right here. And the way you release the choke is you pull the trigger. So I'll do that one more time. Now it's on choke. And now when you pull the trigger, it pops off of choke. Okay, we're gonna set the choke. We've primed our primer bulb about 10 times. Set the head down, and now you just pull it till it starts. The cold start, and you let this thing warm up for quite a while because it takes quite a bit of power to get that steel blade spinning. Still just let it run on choke. This again is the FS94R steel weed eater. Should have warmed up long enough now. I'm going to go ahead and start gently massaging the throttle. typical scrub brush for our area in central Illinois. We have like your standard thick grass here and I don't even know what all the other stuff is. We have some of these skinny plants that are dead from last year and this unit once you get it up to full steam it just eats this stuff for lunch. <laughs> Blade on this weed whacker so that I can rub stuff like that 
but if I would have just jabbed it into there, it would have knocked it off center of the arbor. So now I will mow right next to the concrete, and you'll see how well this works. Again, I was rubbing the concrete a little too intensely there. You're not supposed to do that. But you can see that it does take it and it eats it for lunch. solid machine. I wanted to get the information out there because it took me quite a while to get this steel blade located for this weed whacker. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.